guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. So it actually already is Thursday. It's been a bit of a quiet week to be honest. So there really hasn't been anything to film. I need a little tripod for you. Yeah, anyway, I was sat down earlier just kind of going through like what I need to start packing and planning out like my IKEA packs like situation. Um, and I realized I have like four weeks until we move and about 10 days of that we're not here. So I'm starting to get a bit panicked. <laughs> I swear the last time I spoke about this, I was like, it's chill, I have like eight weeks. Uh, no, we pretty much only have June to move and then we have about a week of July. Actually, we have exactly one week of July before we actually move. So I'm a little bit stressed, but it's fine. We're gonna make it work. Isabella is coming over tomorrow and we're gonna start actually packing, which is exciting. I say I made a little list, so I do have some loose kind of plan. But God, I am just a bit like, okay, I need to get my finger out and start actually doing some stuff. Um, side note, I used to eat these all the time when we spent our summers in America. And I'm obsessed. Anyway, we're doing a little bit of shopping. Lots of little bits and bobs. I have some bits from Reese that I picked up. So I thought it'd be nice to wear in Scotland. So I'll show you that quickly. Um, actually, I'm only wearing one thing. The other two bits are upstairs. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen these. I love these trousers so much. They're so flattering. Like they're giving me a really tiny waist, but the elastic like isn't tight at all but i just think they give me a really nice shape elastic waist and then these are just like really lovely and lightweight and flowy i've been wearing them the last couple days um with chloe trainers and this little top is adenola i did buy a black top from reese ripped the tags off it's pretty much identical to this one but it's not as like tight and shaping um and in hindsight i definitely didn't need it because the adenola one is so good um but yeah, I really like them. I think they're so cute. I'll link them down below. Just had a Hunza G parcel arrive because they did a collab with Rosie Huntington Whiteley and Rose Inc. and Hunza G. The styles are pretty similar to their normal, just like slightly different in a few different colours. So I picked up a couple pieces to try in the colour Pearl. So this is the one piece. If you guys don't know, Hunza G is one size fits all. It's the best swimwear you will ever wear in your life. It's so worth the money. And I feel like, yes, they're that little bit more expensive, but the fact that this fits me now and it would have fit me two years ago and it will fit me for the next 20 years. I just think it's crazy. Probably wouldn't keep it for 20 years. It'd probably get a bit worn by then, but you get the point. So this is the color Pearl, which I think is so beautiful. Yeah, I got the one piece that has these little cute little hook, what are they called? I don't know, little circle bits. Um, there and then the swimsuit is like a dipped back so I picked this one up but Hunza G swimsuits actually aren't flattering on me I do have a really wide back and I just feel like this scoop back just emphasizes it and um, so if I don't like that one I'm going to give it to my sister I'm seeing her next week because she loves the one pieces and then I picked up this little bikini as well also in the color pearl I'm just seeing it with like a white shirt this bikini or swimsuit and then maybe like some pearl necklaces or I've got this like eye sunnies like chain that goes around your neck and attaches to your sunglasses and it's from Miss Mun. it's like gold and it has little pearls on it and it's just such a vibe and then a hat as well like my Gucci hat these are like their pretty like standard bottoms I have like the really high bottoms I have the high bottoms and I have these ones I like these because you can wear them like classic bottoms or you can like hitch the sides up and give you a bit of a high waist so yeah I find them really flattering and this is the top so again, it's got that like circle detail, which I just think is so cute. And I know that looks absolutely tiny. My sister has, what size boobs is she? Mm, I think she's like a double D E. And she, when we're on holiday together, she borrows all my Hunza G bikini tops and bikinis and they all fit her perfectly. The only ones that she doesn't wear because she needs support is the strapless ones, but everything else that has straps on it, she can wear them. So if you are, um, if you do have bigger boobs, uh, Hansa G does actually work and her boobs are fake so they're heavy <laughs> and, and they still work perfectly on her um, so yeah very excited about that I can try these on and show you also I'm going to show you this really quickly I bought Biggie a paddling pool it's a non inflatable one so it's great if you have dogs because they can't burst it it's just like a hard side and then when you put the water in it like makes it stand up I'm going to be quiet because my neighbours are in the garden <laughs> I just love it this is all on it was blue it was very ugly but I saw this pink and grey that was so cute. I don't know why I bought it because he never went in his one last year and he doesn't go in this one. He's like absolutely, like he's scared of it. He doesn't go inside it. To be fair, Bean didn't like him either, but if I put Bean's toys in, then he would go in the water and like play and get his toys out. Like, 
you know how you like bob for apples Beam would like to bob for his toy which was good because it got him to cool down when he was outside because my dogs love the sun the sink is going crazy they love the sun but obviously they're frenchies and they get so hot so i just want him to like dip his feet in i think he'd love it when he actually got in there but he will not even go near it like he's, he's like scared of it if i'm like playing and i'm like come and get in it he just starts freaking out and barking at me so anyway We'll keep trying. I absolutely love the colour and I also love this little detail. I think it's so cute, kind of sexy, but still covered. Um, also very supportive and yeah, I just love them. These briefs, I also just love the uh, the fit of these. Like I said, you can wear them like on your hip, which I don't ever tend to do with swim, or you can hitch them up and they stay up, which is great. Here is the one piece on it. Actually, like this a lot more. I wonder if it's like a slight different fit from their normal one pieces because the back doesn't feel so like, I don't know. I feel like the other ones kind of sat like here on me, which is why I didn't like them. But this one, I feel like it does come, like it looks normal, you know? Um, but yeah, same color. I again, just love these. I feel like they really add to it. I just think it's so cute and I feel supported. I feel like held in, I just, I don't know, I just think they're really, really nice swim pieces. Why does your hair there just not grow? I have literally never ever had this bit of my hair be able to fit in a bun, it's so annoying. Okay, I am just in bed. What is the time actually? It's quarter past nine. Me and Biggie had a really nice chilled night. Johnny's gone out to see his friends. Um, so Biggs and I just stayed in, watched a bit of TV. I'm obsessed with Glow Up, okay? It's on BBC iPlayer. If anyone used to love like America's Next Top Model, I think you'll like this. It's like the same format, but it's for makeup artists. Um, and not like, I don't know, more like creative makeup artists. So they do all like prosthetics and like SF, X, S, F, what is that? S SX, FX, FX, like special effects makeup. Um, anyway, it's really good. So I just watched a couple episodes of that. And now I'm going to get an early one. I really am trying to get into Layla. How many pages through am I? Oh my God, I'm only 30 pages in. This is my second attempt at reading it. The thing is with me, if I don't, if I finish a book, I don't have another book to go straight on to which is what happened with this. Finished my Colleen Hoover books and then I ordered this. So it was like two days worth of not having a book. Just having that two day hiatus from reading completely throws me off. And it's like, I find it really hard to get back into like the reading routine. Um, and I either am obsessed with TV and I'll watch like all my programs in the evening before I go to bed or I'll read. And right now I'm in the TV hype. So I'm really trying to get back into this because I feel like it, I just love reading and also <laughs> it really helps me sleep really well. Like I sleep through the night, I sleep really well, I sleep early. Um, and I just feel like it's a lot more productive than sitting watching TV, you know? I feel like the minute my skin decides it's starting to look a little bit better, it just then gets horrendous. And for some reason I'm scarring really badly. So like all, everything here, no, like this, all this and this side, that's all scars. None of that is like spots. This one is a little spot. This one was a little blackhead that I just picked because my nails are too long, it made it bleed. <laughs> and this one is a little blackhead as well, I need to get out. But anyway, the point is, the minute my skin feels like it's just getting better, it just gets worse again and it's just doing my absolute head in. I don't know what's going on. I'm sick of it. Hopefully this is the end. I feel like this is the end of like the, the worst and we'll hopefully get better, but yeah. Anyway, tomorrow I actually start packing up the house. Isabella's coming over. I really hope I don't have toothpaste around my lips. I feel like I always have toothpaste on my lips. Yeah, Isabella's coming over at lunchtime and we're gonna start packing up. I have the rubbish guys coming to collect the bed and this wardrobe. <laughs> I love that you girls are also on my side about that wardrobe. If anyone doesn't know what it is, I'll just show you it. We have this little like corner in our room and I think it would be great for like, a dressing table and a mirror or whatever. Um, also up there's the door the fire exit to my office. This is what he chose and I'm sorry it has literally drove me mad since the day it got put in. It's so ugly, it's so impractical, it's a, it's like a, a wardrobe for a corner but it doesn't need to be a wardrobe for a corner there, it could have just been a normal wardrobe, do you know what I mean? Like can you see up there how awful the quality is? Or maybe, I don't know, the quality is bad and Johnny built it bad but I mean just look how like, I'm sorry, it's just awful. Oh so, yeah, looking forward to getting that out of the house and 
It also means that that spare room, I'll show you in the morning, but that spare room will now just become an area to pack. Last thing before I go to bed, these two products I'm obsessed with. I mean, I've used this probably, oh my gosh, how many years? Maybe like eight years. I think I got it first, like in first year of uni. And I've used it pretty much every single night since. I absolutely love the stuff. And then this is a new thing. I don't know if I've shown you it yet, but Neon sent me this. It's their new calming pen. It's a little roller ball and you just pop it. I put it on my wrist and like behind my ears. And oh my God, it smells divine. And these two combined, you will literally not wake up once the whole night. You'll just wake up in the morning and you will feel fresh as anything. I'm gonna link this down below. Good morning, guys. So it's bright and early. Um, it's actually half past eight in the morning and the rubbish people just called me and told me that they're coming to get this bed in half an hour. So that's great. I've just taken out what I can from this room. This is all going, I'm so happy to get rid of this bed. Um, I'm gonna go just tell him to take the mattress and everything on top. When we move, I think we're gonna put, well, we'll have our bed in our room for the meantime. And then I think I might make that the spare room and we might get a new bed for our room. But either way, we're gonna have a super king in both the spare room and our room. So we don't need this little bed anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get it out. And then it means this whole room is just freed up. And as we're packing over the next four weeks, the house doesn't have to look a mess because everything can just go in here, which is really handy. I'm wearing those H&M trousers I showed you last week, but in the size up, um, which I actually think, actually, do you know what? I feel like maybe the smaller ones are a bit more flattering, but these are just a bit more comfortable for like, you know, when you're hot and you're on holiday and you just want something like really loose. I feel like these just give you that little bit extra room. So I'm normally a six, eight on bottoms and the extra small and the small both fit. These are the small ones on and then you can go to the vlog before this to see the extra small. Marginally different, it just, yeah, like I say, a little bit more room around the waist. I went to Stories last week. Was it last week? No. Was it this week? It might be this week. I think it was this week. Anyway, I went to Stories and I picked up a few bits. Um, it was very kindly gifted to me. Actually, first of all, I went into H&M, I had some time to kill, and I'm going home next week to see my niece. So I picked her up this little bag, which I absolutely died over. Like, how cute is that? And then I just got her a little cardigan and a little dress. And then for myself, I got two things. This I might wear today. It's just like a really gorgeous, soft lounge jumpsuit. And this like ribbed, really stretchy, really soft <laughs> material. And I tried it on initially and I was like, that is hideous, that's not gonna look nice. But then I kind of like cinched the waist in and yeah, I actually really like it. So I'm gonna maybe put that on just because I wanna be comfortable today. I feel like maybe I didn't like, think I'd like it because it's short sleeves and a shirt, which just feels a little bit like not me. But like I say, once I tied it up, I just thought it was really cute. The only thing that does annoy me is this bow, it's like too much material. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's really like big. It's cute, isn't it? I feel like it's just a really good one. Like I say, like the next <laughs> four weeks are packing the central and I feel like this is the perfect thing. You still look presentable. Um, I can dress up with a pair of earrings, which I'm gonna do, but also it's just ultimate comfort and easy to throw on. This room looks tiny. <laughs> it always shocks me how small rooms look without furniture. We're all sat under <laughs> the bed, but there for the bin. Definitely should have put like a mirror there. We've got a cobweb on Look how big, the, I don't know if it's my phone camera, that's a huge space. Why did we ever put a wardrobe there? Not we, you. Should have had a vanity and, and a... Well, first job, put all these hangers in a bin. Second job, Hoover. This is the best Hoover ever. Have I shown you it? I think I have. I'm obsessed with it. It's the Samsung, the one that I, I worked with them on the pet attachment. So you can get a little pet attachment, which is incredible for pet hair. But um, it's just such a good hoover in general. Where's the bed gone? <laughs> Where's the bed gone, darling? <laughs> Is it so big? Come and look in here. Come here. Look here. No, get off the bed. Bed, off the bed. Where's the wardrobe? <laughs> have for boxes.
dresses and then I have uh, vacuum bags for like coats basically let me get my notes up <laughs> so we're gonna start on winter clothes which I need the vacuum bags for because like that's coats and knitwear um also I didn't I, I realized I didn't do like a wardrobe switch over this year so I only have I mean maybe let's say like 10 knitwears outside of the um wardrobe then I have a rail of jackets and then everything else is like in my wardrobe so it actually makes life pretty easy so and then obviously we sorted out our summer clothes my summer clothes um a few weeks ago so I feel like we've got a good chunk of the wardrobes done and praise the lord my landlord said just to leave the wardrobes here so I don't have to take all them down and get the clothes out early like the clothes that like summer clothes can pretty much be like the last thing that I do so it means there's very minimal disruption to the wardrobe room and my filming and all that stuff which is great so today we're going to tackle winter clothes beauty all the like random drawers in here so these ones I'm going to put them to the bin but go through them and also there's a set of drawers behind me um and then the eaves cupboard which is back there which I organized a few months ago so Really today, it's not so much decluttering and organizing, it's just packing, which is great. So before Isabel gets here, whoops, she's gonna be here in like an hour. So I'm gonna just set up, oh, I'm gonna set a few of these boxes up so we're ready to go. chaos <laughs> has begun but we've made actually pretty good progress because we've cleaned out these drawers cleaned out these drawers and the only things that are left are like things that I might need like sunnies and bits like that and um, I have a box for skincare and like perfumes and stuff I have a box started for hair care and this is my electronics my skincare cupboard is looking pretty bare but I've kind of just left in here like the necessities so all my like usual daily routine and then a few other bits that I like to play with so like some scrubs, a couple masks um, some cleansers and serums I bought these two recently this stuff is so nice um, and yeah that should be absolutely fine for the next month and then that will all fit into a little bag before we move did we not smell them yet? No. oh it's the new the new yeah. collection they did, it's so pretty isn't it? Pretty. Um, we're on to the beauty drawers I have a bag of my makeup that I wear every day so these whole drawers can pretty much be emptied as much as possible and now I need to decide on what perfumes I want to keep up for the next <laughs> four weeks. Definitely you, you, okay, you, that's my pajama perfume, <laughs> I feel like that might be good. Pajama perfume, I like you, oh. might as well finish that up. Yeah. Okay, that and a dip seat maybe. These are the chosen perfumes that I just can't live without for a month. So I have Chanel number no. 5, my new Celine Reptile, the new Tory Burch one that I picked up, which honestly it's so good. Such a good like every day. This Chloe one, obsessed, it smells so good. Actually, no one that I've let smell it likes it. Um, have you tried it. it? No, I haven't smelled it. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. No one likes no. it. I think it smells like paint. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, why do you I think I don't know. That? I love it so much. It's so soft for a perfume that, that I would wear though, right? Like, yeah, for you, It doesn't yeah. smell like anything, but I just love it. Yeah, I know what you mean. It doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah. It smells like paint. It smells like paint. <laughs> I'm confused about that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I kept out my Parfum de Marley because I love this one. This one's like my loungewear pajama perfume. Very cute. <laughs> this one I'm going to just try and finish up before I move. And then the newest Diptyque one, which is insane. And then all of these can get packed away. amount of progress. Packed all these boxes up. So these are all open because there might be things to add in still and I want to just go through and like label everything. And then this is all my jackets in these massive vacuum bags which I've got on Amazon. I'll leave them down below because they're great and they're also like really like thin but in a good way. I don't know how to describe it. Like they're not like really thick and plasticky. They just feel like good. Mm. <laughs> so just hoovering up me. That one was good. And then I am just packing up this stuff into one of these big bags that I got on Amazon. How big? Like huge. So one, 
I have filled up this bag. I'm pretty sure that is everything winter, which is very, very good. We're just saying, um, Biggie finally was like, well, I was probably more comfortable, but Isabella got to like, got to pet Biggie. <laughs> Biggie let her pet him and he was so gentle, wasn't he? He's been here for like over a year. I know. Wow. And it's the first time I've pet that him. That is actually wild. And he took a treat. And he took a treat. <laughs> and he definitely like, when she was petting him, he like froze a bit, didn't he? Yeah, he was like, what's this? Yeah, he's like, what's happening? But he, um, he was great. So I feel very proud of my little baby. Well, left like an hour ago and I literally have not moved from this sofa. <laughs> I felt so sweaty and so tired. It's hard work packing and I always like every time we move house or I've moved house it always ends up like in the summer is like when my lease ends. So it's always like hot <laughs> sweaty work. But we made a really good den. I've pretty much done my office from what I can do. Um I need to get like sort of the eaves out, but that's all like big stuff so it wouldn't really fit in my boxes. Um, I need to just pack up the wardrobe, which I'm not going to do until I'm closer to moving. Um, so I'm pretty much done from what I can do. <laughs> um, and then we've got the big jobs, obviously, like the kitchen and the lounge and stuff like that. But I think I'll wait a little while for that. So we're going to do another couple hours on Tuesday. And then after next week, we've got like two weeks until we move. <laughs> I don't know how this has come around so fast. But um, yeah, I feel good that we've started on it now and it doesn't feel like such a big job now that I've started it like I think the house is big but the stuff in it there isn't actually that much so and all the big stuff like obviously we're not moving the movers are going to do that so yeah I feel good that I've started I think it was only right to pour a little glass of wine inside so I'm just gonna have one and it's nice and I don't have to do any work tomorrow so I feel like I'm not gonna be I feel like I won't get like how I feel like sad you know um, but I think Johnny and I are going out for brunch and then um, probably come back here and it's going to be like 29 degrees tomorrow so I want to cook like, we don't have a barbecue here but I want to cook like picky bits, barbecue picky bits, that kind of vibe and sit out in the garden and enjoy the weather um, which I think will be really nice but anyway I am just giving Biggie his dinner. Do you remember I showed you this lip mat? Did I show you this? I think I did. That I got when we were in the Cotswolds but it's like a ball so... I just think that would be so fun for him. So I've just squished like 20 grams of his dinner in here. So once he's finished down here, he's gonna get this. It's not really wobbling the way I thought it would wobble. <laughs> You're getting it. Oh, good boy. Hey guys, you know I love my pajamas and I really want to invest in like a really expensive pair of silk pajamas, but I don't trust myself yet with the walking of the, like wa washing them. Anyway, this chick on Instagram, I think you'll probably know her, but she has the best style. And she had these okay, pajamas so on. Dress, so Can you see this? <laughs> I was just saying how funny it would be if I got them and then wore them at Johnny's mum's house and just sat in, <laughs> sat instantly eating breakfast. <laughs> don't you think that's so funny? They definitely would clock it. They wouldn't know what to, I don't think they'd say anything. Wears, she wears glasses to see her product. No, your dad would clock them. And Lee and Emily definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody would notice them, but like nobody would say anything because his family's all just like super polite. Oh, it kills me. I would so do that. <laughs> Hello guys. So it's now Saturday. It's absolutely roasting. Um, it's like 29 degrees outside. So we were going to go for brunch this morning, have a little wander, but we decided let's just spend the day in the garden. So that's literally what I've been doing, reading my book somebody thing <laughs> um i thought i'd just show you quickly what i'm wearing so i have those h&m trousers on that i showed you i think i showed you the bigger ones in this vlog but these are the smaller ones this is a g top and then this is an old linen shirt and just some sun baking sunbathing out here probably about four hours since i last spoke to you and i've decided to have a little rosé it's just too nice and i think tomorrow is meant to be cloudy all day so i feel like i need to make the most of it <laughs> And this bit of our garden's in sun, but the grass and the ash shore is in shade, so it's cooled down so much. So maybe you can like actually get outside for a bit and play, which is nice. That ball, by the way, is so good. Oh god. Um, one of you girls told me about it ages ago. Sure. 
it. it wasn't great in this in this house because we have like glass lanterns and stuff which he smashed because like a hard hollow plastic ball so they can't burst it and it just spins and like rolls away from them they love it but yeah he smashed one of these little lanterns with it inside one. an inside one so beware but if you've got a big grassy garden it's like our next house will be perfect for him if you have a big grassy garden i'll link it down below it's called like what's it called the big egg uh jolly egg jolly egg it's great if you have a dog that likes to pierce and bite things because they cannot physically pop this and it's it just like you'll get it and you'll see what i mean it's great so i'll put it down below anyway just enjoying my little movie we have chef johnny in the house we are still having a cow for dinner but we've upgraded from a steak which i'm very excited about it's probably the first time you've ever cooked me burgers, not with a barbecue. Not with a barbecue. Exciting. Should get a barbecue. And also, if I was to give you any criticism, I would have like that, you know, that cheap cheese that comes in like each individually wrapped plastic, like McDonald's cheese. Well, the best cheese for burgers is American cheese, but like I say, I've ordered from Zap. They had that, or they had the one with holes in it. When we move, I'll cook you a burger, a la Nadia. Look at this. Presentation was not top of mine. The cheese needs to be a little bit more melted. Yours looks... Yeah, I didn't want to boil it. Yours looks nice than mine. I have my... You want more? Concoction. No, it's because the lid's on. Nando's girly over here. And... Ketchup, of course. This boy is desperate to get up. It's good. It's good, right? Mmm. That's what we like to... Mmm. Out of ten. You squished, absolutely squished that. Before it started, she put her hand on it, that's why it looks so flat. I'd say a solid like. Oh god, here we come. She's gonna say like six, and I'm gonna no, be so like offended. Eight. An eight? But I'd need more cheese. Rookie, that's a round number. More cheese. Yeah, there's more cheese in there. And I'd say I'd want to cook the burger a little bit less. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. I didn't realise that it would, uh, I pulled it out at like 46 degrees. Open for 52 and it went to like Nobody 58. Nobody on my channel, but I don't know if you guys are going to say that, <laughs> but I don't understand it. I've not mm. cooked burgers in a long time. You don't make it a 10, no, like a 9. If we had, when I was growing up, we had these little like sweet corn forks, so you could like pinch them in and eat, eat the sweet corn. They were like the That would make the burger taste better. No, the whole thing. <laughs> no, well done. High five. The cheese on that would make it taste better. High five. That's actually fire. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. <laughs> He doesn't understand, does he? It's okay. <laughs> no, he wants the whole thing in his mouth. Bite the corn. <laughs> Watch your fingers. Baby. I look ratchet today, but anyway, um, it's another glorious day. I really thought it was going to be like cloudy and not warm, but it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I've just been doing a little bit of work this morning, editing this vlog, and as usual, I didn't finish it. I always forget to say goodbye, like yesterday, um, but there's literally nothing happening today. We're just going to chill in the garden. I'm going to get some work done and tidy up the house ready for Monday. And then next week is super busy. I have like three days in England and then we're going to Scotland for the weekend, which I'm very excited about. And I'm actually going to vlog Scotland and take you guys up there with me because I don't think I've ever filmed in Scotland before. Okay, before I go, I'm going to show you this outfit. I got this from... Have I shown you this? I don't think I have. I got it from Twin Set, and I love it so much. It's a full linen two piece I just think it's so cute and it's just been the easiest thing to just throw on and be comfortable and not too hot in so I'll pop this down below but anyway thank you all for watching as usual and I will see you all next week I have a Wednesday video coming because I, I think I mentioned in this vlog I've been doing quite a lot of shopping so I have a Zara Zara and Reese and stories order to share with you guys so I will see you on Wednesday and then I'll see you again on Sunday for the usual weekly vlog <laughs>